Chapter 7. There it is! That dark balloon! Justin cried the early morning falling, pointing to a bead-sized blue dot that flew high into the sky. Storm sat on Jessica's lap in the back of the high flyer support car. Kim, who owned the car, was driving. Jessica's mom was in the passenger seat with a map and instruments on her lap. They were carefully tracking where the balloon would be, be so they would be exactly in the right spot to help with the landing. <laughs> barked as he jumped up on his hind legs. He poked his nose out of the open window. Careful, Storm! Make sure you don't fall out! Jessica cautioned in a whisper. It was 6.30 a.m. And conditions were perfect for ballooning. The clear blue sky overhead seemed filled with layers of balloons of all shapes and sizes. Whoa! Just look at that one! She said, pointing to a giant rabbit that seemed to be waving its paw. She could see a big can of soup and a big smiling head wearing earphones. But her favorite one was a crocodile eating a packet of crackers. They are like giant creatures that roar, spit fire, and chase each other, Storm yapped. He still wasn't used to the burners. A tiny growl rumbled in his throat whenever he heard the hissing roar of one of the mech go. They're just dumb old sacks of hot air. They won't hurt you, Jessica said, petting his frightened body. Storm started to relax as Kim headed out to the countryside and drove by the villagers. By this time, they were getting close to a pack to a patchwork of open fields. Jessica could see the high water balloon was beginning to drift downward. They'll be coming down the field somewhere over here, Mrs. Tennant Judge pointing a map with her pencil. We should go right to the Max Crossword roads. Got it, Kim said, concentrating hard. This is the tricky part, Jessica whispered to Storm. Landing can be dangerous because of the power lines. Lines and stuff breaking. Sometimes the ground's wind is too strong and the basket tips over and the balloon drags it and the rider along. That's not good. Someone can get hurt, Storm said fearfully. Yeah, but my dad's a great pilot. You'll see. Hey, look, here they come. Jessica waved to her dad, who was just a tiny figure in a basket at the moment. Minutes later, Kim stopped the car and everybody got out. Jessica and Storm followed her mom and Kim across the huge field. Suddenly, a big black wolf balloon rose up from some tall trees began to sit in. Rapidly, Jessica ducked. It's the Cloud Racers! They're gonna land too! But they're really close to our balloon. Storm whimpered. <laughs> he ran forward and hurtled towards the field in a blind panic. Storm! Jessica gasped. He must have thought the monster balloon was about to attack him. Where did that puppy come from? Her mom crying. Mom realized that Storm was so scared he must have forgotten to stay invisible. Oh. He wouldn't be able to use his magic to save himself without giving himself away. With about a second thought, 
Jessica shot across him after the field. Her heart pounded as her sneakers got, ran against the muddy soil. The crowd raised her enormous, huge black balloon seemed to blot out the sky. And the huge basket was just barely five feet above her head. Glancing upwards, Jessica caught a glimpse of horrified faces looking down at her. Storm froze. He didn't seem to realize there was a boom that he was right where the balloon was going to land. And his midnight blue eyes were like saucers, and his first of her back. In desperation, Jessica threw herself to the ground. Her fingers brushed Storm's brown and white fur. Yes! She grabbed the little puppy and held him to her chest and then rolled over and over with him, just like she'd been taught to do at gym class at school. Oh, just then she came to a stop beside the fence at the side of the film. She smashed the knee and on a large half very smooth. Ah! She gasped as a sharp pain took her breath away. Look out! Jessica's mom and Kim were running frantically across the field, waving their arms across the balloon. Jessica heard a shout from her head. The powerful burners roared out. The monster wolf balloon slowed. It did for an amazing... A long moment, it does seem to hang there in the air. And then it rose high enough just to sleep over her and storm and skim into the fence, right at the max film. Jessica laid there, holding the puppy. Her entire leg was aching. She couldn't move. She saw her dad steering their balloon to a safe landing 30 feet away. Lay across the film. Jessica's mom ran to catch another rope. Why? Kim ran to catch an anchor rope. Why? Jessica's mom ran to where her daughter lay. Oh my god, Jessica! Are you alright? Mrs. Tennant said. I'm okay, Ma. This a little shaken up. Jessica cried. Storm barked and reached up to lift Jessica's face. Thank you for saving me. You were very brave. I wasn't really. I didn't think about it. About it. I couldn't bear anything to happen to you. Click. You better become invisible again. Mom's almost here. Jessica said, Winston, you haven't hurt yourself. I'll make you better. Storm walked. Jessica felt a familiar tingling down her spine as Storm opened his mouth and huffed down a huge cloud of tiny golden sparks as fine as gold dust. The glittering mist swirled around Jessica's leg, and the pain in her leg felt very hot. It did for a second, it turned ice cold. And then it drained away like water gurgling down a drain. Thanks, Storm. I'm fine now, she said quickly. We put him on the ground and then get into... Her feet does her mom reach her. You crazy girl! Whatever make you think about running after that little puppy? You could have seen really hurt! Miss Tent said looking red-faced and screaming. Where is the little guy? Hey. He, uh, ran from through the hedges. Jessica mumbled hurriedly. He must have been astray. Anyway, I'll, anyway. Hey, I'm fine, Mom. Don't worry. Jessica Tennant, her mom said darkly. Looking as if she was about to make a big scene. Jessica decided that it might be best to change the subject. Hey, how about we go help Dad and the other? She said quickly. Leave with Storm following her. 
her, she marched across the field where Kim and her, her dad and other folks were dealing with the balloon. 